Why can't all good, good people go to heaven? Is that a new memo or? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so why can't all good people go to heaven? I don't know, that's a really strange question because you've already assumed that they can't. I don't know where you got that from. The pr problem with questions like these is there's a vague definition of what good means. Right, that's the first problem. The second problem is there's an assumption that every Muslim is guaranteed heaven. There's a second problem with that, right? Or the idea behind the question is perhaps that there are good people who aren't Muslim, what about them? So that's just you know, the basic gist of the question. Look, in our religion, we are given license to judge right and wrong as far as we've been taught. But we have not been given license to judge salvation. That is again his domain. He can speak however he wants to people. He can judge them however he wants. I don't get to judge what's going to happen on judgment day. Now what really I think puts things in perspective for me on this question is our Prophet وسلم, was told on one occasion إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ You can't guide whoever you love. You don't guide whoever you love. وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءَ on another occasion, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam turns to his beloved. He loved his daughter so much. I mean, there are stories when you read about the love the Prophet had sallallahu alaihi wasallam for his daughter. It's like it's, it'll move you to tears. But then on an occasion, he turns to her and says, "Ya Fatima tu bintu Muhammad, ittaqillah fa inni la amliku laki min Allahi shay'a." Fatima, daughter of Muhammad, be cautious of Allah all on your own because I will have no authority for you on Judgment Day. He can't even guarantee his daughter's safety on Judgment Day. So we are, you know, and Allah says in Quran, كُلُّهُمْ أَتِهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَرْدًا Everybody will come to Allah individually. Every case will be judged individually. You know what that means? I can't even make blanket statements about Muslims. So how can I make blanket statements about everybody else? I can't do that. فَرْدًا Individually. Allah says on Judgment Day, who are the people that are safe? Safe in illa man atallaha bi qalbin salim. Whoever came to Allah with a sound heart. Now, how do I know if someone has a sound heart or not? I don't know. What I do know is what Allah has taught me. I don't go around saying people are going to heaven either, because people think it's you have to pick a side. Is everybody going to hell or are they going to heaven? Make up your mind. I don't get to make up my mind. That's not my question. I get. I, all we have is. A message that delivers good news and delivers warning and people will do what they will do. And then Allah will do what He has the license to do and judge what He has the license to judge. Why are you so worried about Tarzan? Why? And even if he becomes Muslim, then your follow-up question is going to be, his shorts don't go below his knees, how is he going to make salat? And you know, is, uh, is seawater okay for wudu or you know, because <laughs> he's on an island. I mean, stop, stop. You know, don't, we know one thing about, from the names and attributes of Allah, some things become very clear. Allah, the God we believe in is absolutely loving, merciful, kind, caring, and just. Not just to those who believe in Him, to all humanity. He's merciful and loving to all humanity. And if he, we believe He's just and fair and merciful, then you have to believe that He will not deal people a shorthand on Judgment Day and say, ah, you know, nobody's going to be like, angels are going to show up. Hey, so you weren't Muslim, huh? <laughs> Too bad for you. No, but I didn't have any Muslim friends, not any neighbors, like nobody was Muslim. Yeah, we made sure that wouldn't happen. Because we wanted to barbecue you, etc. <laughs> no, that's not how it's going to be. Everybody will get a chance. And those who didn't even, how Allah will deal with them is His, his issue. What you and I have to believe is Allah is fair. What we're told to believe is Allah does not, you know, وَمَاللَّهُ يُرِيدُ ظُلْمًا لِلْعِبَادِ Oh, Lil Abid actually. You know, Allah does not intend wrong for His slaves, for his, subs for his subjects. He doesn't. Why would you think that? And this, by the way, is related to another question that might show up. What do sisters get in Jannah? <laughs> Let's get there first. <laughs> Can we agree on getting there? Okay. And then, don't worry about it. <laughs> you will be happy, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Okay. All right.